Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. The reason for my short break is that I was actually on vacation, but I am back now and so excited to start making videos for you guys again. It actually feels kind of weird recording a voiceover because I haven't done it in a while. I've been sitting here for like the past 30 minutes repeating stuff into the mic because I'm just kind of nervous about recording again. It's been about a month since my last upload, but I enjoyed my little vacation. Speaking of, while I was on vacation, we actually hit 3,000 subscribers. Yahoo! Which I am so happy about and so grateful for. It feels like we barely hit 2,000 subscribers like 5 minutes ago, but now we're at 3,000, which is so crazy. Thank you guys all so much. And I actually have a little confession to make. I was planning on a 3k subscribers special video, and since a lot of you guys subscribed because of my Monster High tier list video, I was planning to make a new Monster High tier list video, but instead of ranking the characters, I would be ranking the dolls, specifically Draculaura dolls. And I was actually in the final stages of editing that video, it was nearly done, but when I was trying to export it my computer crashed and when i booted up my editing software again everything was gone so i kind of lost that video but i don't really feel too bad about it i kind of feel bad for you guys because i know a lot of you guys were asking me to rank the dolls too and i was kind of excited to make that video for you guys but while i was editing it i had a lot of difficulties there was lots of audio glitches and glitches with the video in general i also don't really like my commentary in it it wasn't turning out the way i wanted it to so i'm not too sad that i lost it but if you guys are still interested in seeing that just let me know and I'll re-record the whole thing. It might take a while, but I'll try to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. But with all of that out of the way, Monster High is not really the topic of this video. Well, it actually kind of is. The topic of today's video is part 2 of the time Mattel stole my idea for Monster High. Kind of. If you haven't watched part 1, I recommend you go watch it so this video will make a little more sense. But basically, in that video, I said that I had a few more characters that I didn't draw in the original video, and we're gonna be drawing those today. And we are gonna be starting with this ghoul. And unlike the previous three ghouls, the next three that I'm going to be drawing in this video actually don't have any names. Or if they did, I don't remember them at this point. It has been over 10 years since I drew those original drawings after all. But this girl, if you couldn't tell, she's supposed to be a ghost. And she's kind of more directly inspired by the ghouls in the ghoul school. The ghost girl in that movie was blue as well, so I decided to make blue and purple the primary colors of this design. I remember really liking this character when I first drew her. Even back then when I was a kid, I think she was my favorite out of the bunch that I drew. As for her personality, she was supposed to be like silly, but also gothic. I wanted to make her the most gothic out of the bunch. Vampire is kind of more Victorian, and then Zoe the zombie, she's kind of more punk. But this character, since she's literally dead because she's a ghost, I wanted to make her very gothic. In the end, she doesn't look that goth because she doesn't have that much black in her design. But if you remember from the previous video, I was kind of going for like a rainbow theme as well. So this was supposed to be the blue slash purple doll and I wasn't really sure how to make her look like flowy and ghosty so I remember thinking when I drew that original drawing I was like what piece of fabric looks the most flowy and I thought of a long skirt so that's why her skirt is long that's also why she has like a flowy cardigan because in my head I don't know why I thought that cardigans would like flow in the wind but that was my reasoning for giving her a blue cardigan with the other characters I tweaked a few things here and there to make the designs less awful but with this one I kept it exactly the same because there wasn't really anything that I hated about it. Maybe I'm just biased because she is my favorite character, but I actually kind of like her outfit. I especially really like her blue hair. I kind of straight up ripped it off from the cool school ghost, but I was like eight years old, so what could you expect? I also really like her face. I purposely drew her the cutest out of all of them. I gave her really big eyes because her personality type is supposed to be like the playful one who pulls pranks and stuff. Like she's supposed to be the jokester of the group. So I tried to make her look very playful and youthful. I also tried to draw her in like a floating pose, she's supposed to be like floating in midair if you couldn't tell, but it kind of just looks more like she's jumping. But with a lack of a background, it's gonna look like she's standing on one foot or something no matter what. But it doesn't really matter. I also drew her in like a teasing pose, like with her hand on her head like kids do when they go like na 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 na. That's what she's supposed to be doing, it looks kind of weird though. She's also doing a peace sign on one eye. And here is the final illustration. Moving on to the next character, now we have this ghoul. And she's supposed to be a lizard person. If I'm remembering right, she's supposed to be based on a chameleon, which is kind of weird. I don't know why I included that in my lineup of monsters. There isn't even a lizard girl in the original ghoul school, so I have no idea where I came up with this idea. And it's funny because instead of doing like a mummy or a sea creature or any other type of like universal monster, I did a lizard girl. 
And if you think this is weird, wait till the next character. But anyways, back to this school. I actually don't really remember anything about her. I don't know why I chose the things that I chose when designing her. I don't remember anything pretty much about this character. It actually kind of caught me off guard when I found these drawings again. I was like, oh wait, I remember this girl. Why did I draw this? My commentary on her has been pretty boring so far, but that's just because I literally do not remember anything about her. But one thing I can comment on is how awful her outfit is. From the colors to the patterns to the shapes, it's just all so horrible. I have no idea what I was thinking. But back then in my little brain, I was like, yes, this is fashion. <laughs> my character design skills have come such a long way. <laughs> and I'm actually starting to remember a few things about her design. I think since I wanted her to be based on a chameleon originally, that's why I gave her like the rainbow top with like the little diamond print. It's supposed to like symbolize her scales, changing colors. As for the tree print pant, I was like, what do chameleons climb on? Trees. So that's why I gave her those pants. I was really thinking about keeping the original design, but I toned it down a bit for this new drawing. The original is just too awful, especially her shoes. I think I hate those the most. I just limited some of the colors that I used and I tried to keep it at least a little bit cohesive. I tried to match the shoes in this one to her top a bit more. I also got rid of a few colors in her hair just to keep it a little bit more simple. I also got rid of her tail completely because I just think it was too much in my opinion. And I actually just remembered why she's rainbow. As I mentioned before, the dolls were supposed to be in rainbow order so each doll had a theme and a corresponding color. But I kind of ran out of colors so I was like what do I do now that I have no colors? And obviously the answer was create a rainbow character. But I was thinking, hmm, which monster is rainbow? Chameleon? I still don't know the reasoning behind that but that's why it's a chameleon. <laughs> And here is her final illustration. Finally, here we have the last character, but not only did I run out of colors, but I also ran out of monster ideas. Because if you thought making a lizard girl was weird, I don't know why, but I thought the next logical step was to make a phoenix girl. So this girl is based on a phoenix, which technically isn't even really a monster. But at this point, I just really wanted to make a character based on the color orange because that's the only color that I had left. So I was like, hmm, what's orange? Fire? What monster creates fire? phoenix yeah that was my logic back then i don't really think these last few characters fit in especially with the monster theme they're just kind of more mythical or just straight up weird but what can you do i actually remember drawing this character a few times i think i drew her twice because the original time i tried to draw her her face came out horrible like she looks like jeff the killer and the second time she still doesn't look that good so so this time was my ideal time to redeem myself and that's what i really tried to do i didn't change her design much but i tried to put a a lot of effort into how she looked because I really wanted her to be pretty this time. One thing that I did get rid of was her polka dot gloves because those were just hideous. Also, I translated her weird side swept hairstyle into like a side curly hairstyle. I just thought it made more sense. I kind of wanted her to like imitate flames. Now that I'm looking at her, she looks like Heath Burns girl version, but that was totally by accident. The thing I tried to do the most with these last two characters was kind of just tone down their designs. I don't know why, but I just started to really go wild at the very end with these last few characters. I think I was just trying to fill up my roster of monsters and complete out the rainbow so I was just trying to do anything I could to fill up that space and all my fashion sense kind of flew out the window but I tried to bring it back a bit with these new illustrations and I think she looks pretty cute here this is obviously the best version of her as for making her pretty mission accomplished I think she looks very gorgeous I really love her face I really like her curly hairstyle too I think it's an improvement over that weird whatever that is in the original but the main thing that I improved on was her face because tell me this isn't a jump scare right here I know I got rid of the tail on the lizard girl but at least you can kind of tell she's a lizard right but with her I decided to keep the wings because you couldn't really tell what she's supposed to be if she didn't have them actually you still kind can't really tell what she's supposed to be she kind of just looks like a yellow girl with wings so I guess the mission was half accomplished but I did improve the most with this character and I'm super happy about it and with all that said here is her final illustration actually she kind of looks like Spongebob with hot Cheetos for hair now that all three illustrations are done here are the three characters together and I actually like these characters I don't think I like them as much as the first three characters I think I like the previous ones more because they kind of had more of a concept and you could really see where I was going with those with these I just kind of ran out of ideas and I was just doing whatever I could but I have made huge improvements with the way that I draw and I render my illustrations and these ones actually look quite pretty as the past ones looked pretty 
pretty ugly but let me know what you guys think you guys really like the previous three so i'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about these also leave any name suggestions if you have any because these three as i mentioned before they're absolutely nameless but i really want to hear your guys's opinion on these so please let me know and once more just thank you guys so much for 3k subscribers that's still really crazy to me i was barely processing 2,000 subscribers and now we're at 3,000 like that's absolutely insane. And I just want to say thank you guys all so much for your nice comments on my latest videos. A lot of you guys are super sweet and you guys always leave me super nice messages. So I'm super grateful and I'm always super happy reading stuff like that. So hello to all the new subscribers and thank you so much for enjoying my videos. And I hope you guys stick around to the next one. So I'll see you in my next video and bye!